Hello again, everyone. So for this next part of the workshop, I'm going to be taking you through the uh, database searching process and taking a look at a couple of different resources that we might be looking at and um, be taking you through a different type of searching uh, instead of doing that keyword searching that we were doing in CINAHL the other day. So I'm going to be starting out by going to the library's uh, resources through my Western. And from here, I'm going to get to the nursing resources by going to nursing by subject. And once I get to this point, I want the databases tab so that I can get access to those resources. And so I have my link to, to CINAHL there. And uh, in this particular instance, um, what I'm going to be doing is taking a different approach. I'm not going to be doing a keyword search as my way of um, uh, starting broad and then kind of focusing in. Instead, I'm going to take an approach where I'm going to be searching for one part of it using the CINAHL headings that you can see up at the top of the page here. And so this may uh, sound similar based on what we went through in fall. Uh, but again, these are based on the language that uh, CINAHL understands. It's, it's based on the terminology that all the sources are organized by. And we can use the CINAHL headings to leverage into a very structured search. It's a much more structured search when we do it this way. So if I do the term contains, that's going to be a little bit broader. And in this particular instance, I'm going to be doing a, a search that is um, based on a catheter related uh, bloodstream infections um, and I'm just using that because it's based uh, the model paper that you have uh, for this assignment is related to this uh, topic and so I'm gonna go ahead and launch that search and what I'll do is uh, once I get my results I see that it's telling us that we should be using catheter dash related bloodstream infections instead of the terms that I use. So I'll find that term that's going to be working. And what this will also do is kind of take your topic and uh, take that nested approach to showing you how it's being described within the databases. So as we can see, this is a, a subtopic of catheter related infections, which is in turn a subtopic of cross infection, which is in turn a subtopic of infection, so, so on and so forth. So it gets broader and broader the further up we go. But we could use those as ways to explore some other uh, topics. Uh, but we want to launch into a search on the catheter related bloodstream infection. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that as my major concept. And when I do that, it's going to bring up a bunch of subtopics that are related to this. Now, most of these, when you're thinking about your PICO question, uh, these are actually things that are related to interventions or maybe even outcomes that are sought, uh, but typically interventions. So as I look through this list, it gives me some ideas on the, the particular types of approaches I might be able to, to, to take uh, with this particular uh, type of search and, and kind of uh, explore it in a couple different ways. So let's say I was interested in taking a look at the uh, drug therapy interventions. I can tick that box next to it. And what's going to happen is it's going to build a very specific search for me over here on the right side so that I can search the database using that very specific structure. And what should happen is you shouldn't be getting a whole lot of results. It might be that you get a lot of results if it's a very common topic and a common uh, sort of intervention and, or subtopic. But in this case, um, not surprisingly, I'm only getting 23 results uh, coming back. So this allows me to uh, to basically get into that it's super structured approach to, to looking at sources. And then I can always just go back and conduct another search. And then as you're doing this, one of the things to keep in mind with your particular browsing session is that you can take a look at all the past searches that you've done and you could even combine them in uh, different ways. So if I wanted to, I could go to the search history and I could see all the different searches that I've done in the past. In this particular instance, I don't have any past searches, but if I did, then I could actually combine those searches together to find uh, even more sources that have different overlaps and connections to each other to, to kind of find the, the places where there are those the connections to be made between different um, concepts. So as I'm doing this, though, I'm keeping in mind that the particular things that I need from my sources in order to um, kind of uh, advance my research and my topic. So that's, again, thinking about those rhetorical moves. Uh, you know, what kind of things are going to be happening with these uh, particular sources? What kind of evidence are they going to be putting forward? These are questions that you're going to want to be asking yourself as you're, you're approaching this. 
Okay, sorry for the jump. I, I, I backed up because there's another approach that I could take using a very similar way of approaching this with Medline. So I'm back at the database list uh, for nursing and I have my link going to the, the Medline database. You can also jump between databases within EBSCO if you wanted to. So you can go to choose databases and you can change the database that you're using or search multiple databases at the same time. Just keep in mind that if you're doing the searching multiple databases at the same time, a lot of those advanced features like the, uh, the CINAHL headings, um, they're not going to work in a different database necessarily. Uh, they might if there's uh, some similar terminology being used, but oftentimes they're kind of structured in different ways and so they're not going to really match up in, in the way that you want them to. So. Uh, here with Medline, I can take a very similar approach as a, uh, what I was doing with CINAHL. And in this case, I just go to the MeSH headings 2017. These are the medical subject headings, and CINAHL headings are related to the, the MeSH headings that are, that are um, built on them. And I can take my, my search term and do a very similar search where I can search based on search contains. But you'll notice that I get different results coming back because uh, the way Medline is structured around this topic is a little bit different. So we have some different options that we could be choosing from, um, but I'm, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, what they're suggesting, where they're saying use catheter-related infections. And so what that will get me to is a page that looks similar to what we have. It's bolding the uh, a page that's similar to what we had in, in CINAHL. Uh, but it's bolding the particular term that I, I just used. And so I could see some subheadings related to this. So I've got the, the same thing where I have a couple of different things I could be taking a look at. I can take a look at the drug therapy aspect of this, just like we had in CINAHL, or uh, maybe I wanted to take a look at diet instead. You can do both as well, as you can see here. Uh, that will broaden your search a little bit more. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with diet therapy. And then what that should do is it's going to bring back your results. But in this case, what it's saying is that that particular search that I just did was a little bit too narrow. And so sometimes that's going to happen with the structured approach. Uh, it may just be that there's nothing that has to do with catheter related uh, infections, infections and, and diet therapy. So uh, I would want to, to basically change this in a different way. And at some point you might actually get familiar enough with some of the, the subterms that you can, uh, you remember the subterm codes that you can put in there and then you can find things um, on your own. So I changed it to drug therapy because I, I recalled that that was uh, the, the term that I could use. And in this case, Medline is actually coming at back with a very healthy set of resu uh, results coming back with that very specific term and that particular uh, approach to the topic, that very particular uh, subheading. And so this is just a brief reminder that when you're in the databases, you do have different types of uh, full text article access. So we have our PDFs in here and we have the find it button. That find it button is going to check with all, all of our subscriptions. If we have access to it, it should be providing you a link that will get you to it. If we don't, it should uh, direct you to our interlibrary loan form so that we can get you a copy uh, of that. And the average turnaround time on those is now, um, last time I heard, at eight and a half hours. So they, it can be pretty quick. Uh, please don't pay for articles because you've already paid for this service where we will get you access to the articles that you need.